Coming up next, a UFC flyweight division matchup. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jiu-jitsu. If he's able to extend these jiu-jitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those affluent. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and an understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sambo. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if he can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fight. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. And now our tail of the tape for this flyweight tilt. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started with the official introductions, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC flyweight division. Introducing first, fighting, and out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 20 wins, six losses, and two draws. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Brandon, the assassin baby, Marino! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. A mixed martial artist holding a professional record of 24 wins, seven losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Alex Perez! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. All right, so here we go. The weight and the height gives way to the action right here on one side. Maybe the division's most well-rounded fighter taking on arguably the biggest submission threat in this division. Because he's such a great submission grappler, I believe that this is the most dangerous fight for him in the division. Wow. He needs to maintain his space, stay away from this guy at all costs, and force him to stand up for him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big leg kick lands. Moreno's lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. Big kick. Timing his shots nicely here, champ. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up and using a lot of diverse strikes. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Moreno gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Two minutes have expired off the round one clock here. Just misses there with the left. Big kick lands. Oh, a huge block there. Kick 
went for the inside leg kick. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back in range. Gotta check these low leg kicks. Nice defense there. He landed it perfectly. Perfect placement. Perfect position. What a huge blow in a big moment in this fight. That's a big hook. that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory. to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Just missed with the left there. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Try to establish that jab. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh, oh my God. Nice strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Ooh. Landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your give food. Give him the right hand behind the jab. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off uh -huh. with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Left hand just out of range though with it. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Great punch landed with so much power. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. That was a thudding leg kick. Oh, oh. All 
right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Oh! Oh! Right there, his opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know what to do. Run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test in elementary school. Punch his block. Real quick leg kick. Oh, really making good use of his reach advantage as he lands the straight punch. Might have landed there instead. A swing and a miss by Moreno. Back to the left hand now. Unable to get oh, shot there, DC. And one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Oh, he might be out. Jab there. I can watch this dude jab all day. I mean, he's so light on his feet, and when he pops that jab, now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beat Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Visibly limping here. Left hook to the head, it's blocked. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Great punch. Final ten. Oh! Oh, oh, let's go, oh! What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance as we await the judges' scorecards, but certainly a dominant striking effort out of that fighter tonight. John, he used his best weapons in order to carry him to a decision, a very clear decision, in my opinion. A great performance tonight by this young fighter. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest 9-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Alex Haran! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized. It's a flyweight matchup between Henry Cejudo and TJ Dillashaw. I feel like both of these guys are the top of the food chain. They're the best of the best that we can put inside the octagon. They are so well-rounded, they have every skill, and that is gonna be on display tonight in this key matchup. Circling to his right. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Ooh, big shot lands. Back 
to the jab now, no good. Look at the whip action that comes from here throwing that kick. Oh, well done there, strike blocked. Uppercut lands on the counter. TJ is constantly switching stances. Cejudo gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it. Yes. And straight punch lands. That's as good a punch as he's thrown all night. The punch that lands down the middle, the one that you don't feel, is the ones that land perfect, and that one landed perfectly. Big kick lands. So just over 20 total strikes, and counting now have landed for TJ Dillashaw. Oh, nice. Nice. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice job to get the guard up there as the strike is blocked by Sabuto. Strong hook lands. Oh, straight right. Dillashaw gets hit with a kick. Under a minute to go. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, overhand left, no good. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Final seconds. Nice kick landed there by the ever-improved Henry Cejudo. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went headhunting, landed, nearly got the finish, too. A lot of coaches tell you don't headhunt. In this case, he's been headhunting, and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. All right, five minutes in the can. Now we get to round two between Henry Cejudo and TJ Dillashaw. That's a big strike right there. Head off the center line, slips the punch. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipes. It's unreal. Oh, and he caught the kick. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Outstanding kick there by Dillashaw. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. His opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it from the eyes, and now he's got a hurt back. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. 51 total strikes and counting have landed for the great TJ Dillashaw. And landing at a 52% clip tonight against Henry Cejudo. Cejudo's kick is blocked. Straight punch lands. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. That was a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. A 
again going back to the jab just out of range. Dillashaw gets caught with that punch. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, just digs into the box. He's been shot with every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Oh, straight right. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Ten seconds to go. What a round. All right, so here we go, third and final round. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down. Oh, body kick is there for Cejudo. Oh! oh! Flush for Dillashaw. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Cejudo. He continues to evolve as a striker. So he's really... What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh! He's out! He got him! Oh, my goodness. What a fight. Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is after the huge knockout turned in tonight. Near perfect execution and one of the bigger highlights of his UFC career. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 37 seconds of round number three. Playing the winner by knockout, TK. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC flyweight division matchup. This is where I want to be. You want to fight in Vegas, and now this beautiful T-Mobile Arena is the backdrop of tonight's great UFC event. Circling towards the left. Oh, 
he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Oh! Big roundhouse now just misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Clutch right hand is true. Blocks the shot. Throws the right hand there. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed. Right. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great timing to land that punch. Just misses with the jab there. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love throwing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Ooh-wee! Ooh-wee, what a right hand by this young man. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Tim Elliott. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. He blocks the punch. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Oh! And he landed the right hand there. with that jab attempt there. That one snuck in. Nice strike. <laughs> 20 seconds to go in round one. Oh, that's a center DC. He's rocked. That was a beautiful hook. It landed perfectly, and it hurt his opponent very bad. He's done. He's done. Round two winding down. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready? You ready? Second round underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Elliott. Oh, nice. Oh, slips to avoid the right. Right hand good on the counter. Beautiful body kick. Nice right punch followed by a left. He lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Ooh, what a punch. Ooh, head kick lands. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Well, looks as though his leg is hurt here. You can even see him limping a little bit. Man, 
man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Oh, oh. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Looking to land the right, just out of range. What a punch. Attacking the body now, that shot blocked. Unable to connect with the right. DC and how about the punching acumen by that fighter in that previous round? He does not waste anything. He does not loot punches. Everything's tight. Everything's precise. He's a sniper. We always talk about how he's a sniper. He is a sniper. And it showed in that exchange that allowed him to drop his opponent. and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Big shots being thrown. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. the shot. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! It's over! It's over! What a performance! Beautiful shot to end the 